Uh, brakes. Yep. Pump. Wheel pumps on. Okay. Uh, propeller, propeller air. Yep. Car! We let everybody know we're going to turn a prop. Okay. The starter. Yep. Message. What is it? Closed choke and Closed choke? Closed choke. Yep. Oil pressure. Oil pressure. Oil pressure is good. Can I take videos on my phone? Say what? Can I take videos on my phone? Oh, of course. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the main thing is don't grab the controls if you get scared. That's not a handle. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's good to know. <laughs> and, and your feet get out of your knees. Don't care to run up on the grass. But then I'm going to see where planes are landing and taking off. You always do it into the wind. And if there's no wind, like they're really field, automated is advisory. Wind two six zero at three knots. Temperature one five Celsius. Dew point niner Celsius. Altimeter three zero zero one. Okay, so let's do run up. Uh, okay, five control for each. Uh, yep. Elevator trim check. Yep. Oil temperature. Oil temperature 132. Need to be at least 120. Okay. Brakes. Brakes oh. are set. Throttle. Throttle. Magnetos. Okay. First off, let's run the throttle up to 4,000 RPM or so. Oh, yeah. And we check the engine to make sure that it's not going to suddenly quit when we're at takeoff power. Harvey Traffic Experimental 143 Sarah Foxtrot in position and hold on 33 right, Harvey. So I have to let him get out of the way, but I said, hey, I'm going to take the runway. There's nobody ready to land. Obviously, landing traffic has priority. I can stop. I'm on the ground. They cannot stop. Harvey Traffic Experimental 143 Sierra Foxtrot taking off. 3-3 three, three right, Harvey, noise abatement, and then departure to the south. Traffic. And you notice, 3-3 three, three are for right. Left is over there, and it's the grass runway. And we're up in the air. Coverage to our pizza. High altitude zero, four miles west of the airfield, maneuvering 45,000 for one two zero at RV. And I keep my hand on the throttle so it can't accidentally back off. And you can see we're at 250 feet. Over there is Payne Field, that big brown area at about a one o'clock up on top. And because it's higher, that's at 600 feet. So a lot of times this will be clear and that will be in the fog. Traffic. See, the computer tells me, hey, there's traffic around you. Probably that other airplane, that's what's called staying in the pattern because he's practicing takeoff and landing. That's why we're going way to the west to stay out of the traffic area. As you can see, if I let go, the plane basically flies straight and level. All right, waiting for landing traffic. Over to Scott, 220, turning final for runway 33. There's the Monroe prison over there, so we don't want to fly over that. Now you see, I'm not going to go there because the clouds are getting lower. Oh, okay. So, let's go out here. Jersey County, Cessna 722, downwind, runway 27, Jersey County. When you first start out, many people have a tendency to stare at the instruments. But yeah. that's terrible, terrible pilot technique. Oh, okay. okay. Good to know. <laughs> you're, you're mainly looking outside. Now, you can tell right now the wings are basically level. So the plane's basically level, okay? And you see the horizon and you see the dash. Well, 
Everybody's different because I sit a little bit higher than yeah. you. But look at that distance. And as long as this is at zero, you know, we're not going up or down, and that distance is the same, then you straighten level forward and back. Okay. And you can tell if we turn to the right. And to the left. Departure leg three three right will be departure. And then if we go up, you can see that distance disappeared, the horizon disappeared. But we also went small slower. Yeah. Okay. And if you go down, same thing. This gets bigger, but we also go faster. Yeah. Okay. Don't you put your hand right there? This is and you can fly an airplane with just two fingers. You don't have to grab it real hard, just okay. loosely in your hand. Okay. And basically follow me on the controls. And if you want to turn left, you keep the same horizon picture. And we'll stay right at 2,000 feet. And we'll turn left. And it'll stay in the left turn until you bring it back to zero. Okay, and now we're basically level. So the same thing to go right. And I want to be careful because we're kind of close to the airport. We're going to go over here where there's no traffic. Now you see this little arrow here? That shows there's an airplane, but it's uh, 1,900 feet above us. Oh, okay. So. It's not a factor. This is our airplane here. Okay. And you see this green circle? Uh huh. This is something you only get with this type of computer screen, and that is if the engine quit right now, that is our glide distance. Oh, okay. Okay. And notice it's not centered on the airplane because of the wind. Oh, okay. If the engine quit, the wind would blow us a little bit. Okay. So obviously the wind is coming from this direction. And so that makes a correction for the wind. Frankly, if the engine quit, I wouldn't be looking at that too much. Yeah, no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> However, you know, many people go, okay, first thing I want to do is try and restart the engine. No, that's not what you do. First thing you do, you set this up without an engine, it's a glider. So you set it up, you have the aircraft. So you set this up to be the very best glider it could be, which is about 65, 70 knots. So we're going fast, so then I would slow it down. Uh-huh. You wouldn't have an engine, and that gives me the most time in the air. Watch your horizon, you're going up a bit. This is a really twitchy airplane. Yeah. <laughs> okay. See, you're up to 2100. No big deal. There's no rules about where we have to be right now. Okay. Okay. So, but there's a tendency when you sit there to kind of pull back. Yeah. So you just, yeah, this is your first time flying an airplane. <laughs> I mean, no? Over here to the 5052, left base, runway 15, over here. So what you do is you look outside. And then every two or three minutes, you do an instrument scan. Okay. And you'll check your flying instruments, engine instruments, and your map. Okay. Oh, nose is coming up again. Over here, just the miser. Over here. Not a big deal, but we don't want to get too close to the clouds above us. Okay. Okay. And that big open field way over there at uh -huh. about one o'clock, that's uh, Arlington Airport. We could actually go over there and do a landing. Okay. Map, Jeffco. nearest, you just fly the airplane. Oh my God, no. <laughs> Get a straight, straight and level. We're gonna fly right along I-5 there. Maneuvering for... Uh W O Arlington Airport, and this is so good that all I have to do is say Airport to Com, and it sends all the frequencies for Arlington Airport over to the radio. Oh. I don't even have to twist any dials. Okay. Okay. So then I'm going to listen to the weather for Arlington. Hundred overcast. Four thousand three hundred. Temperature one four. 
Celsius. Don't go straight for the airport. Zero. Stay up. over to I-5. Celsius. Altimeter. Three, zero, zero, zero. Well, you're a little bit more. Now, one of the ways to do this, you can either look at the compass, or one of the easiest ways is see that little hill just ahead of us. Uh huh. Just point your nose at that, keep it at that, and you're at the same compass heading. So, right there it is. Keep it right there. Let your altitude come down a little bit. We need to be down to 1200. We're at 22. Okay. But we don't need to go down too fast. Okay. <laughs> See, it's not too hard. <laughs> we'll just say. <laughs> Can you go back and tell everybody you flew an airplane? Woohoo! <laughs> Arlington traffic, Skyhawk 491 Sierra Foxtrot, departing 34, staying in pattern Arlington. There you go, you're down to 1900. When we get close to the airport again, I'll take over. We got a ways to go. That's a great job. You're pointing straight at that little mountain. And you're losing altitude pretty good. Everybody can see only your hands are on the controls. I'll take the aircraft. And I have it. You can let go. <laughs> <That's> so nervous. <laughs> I mean, you just flew an airplane. <laughs> How hard was it? Your very first time. Arlington traffic, Skyhawk 491, Sierra Fox Trot, downwind 34, Arlington. Uh, I'm going to make my radio call as soon as I start my turn. Arlington traffic, Experimental 143, Sierra Fox Trot, Highland Crossing on the 45 for. Uh, Landing 34 Arlington. Arlington traffic, Skyhawk 491 Sierra Fox, Fox turning final 34 Arlington. So you see him right there? Turning final. So he says, What kind of airplane? He says, Arlington Airport. And he says, He's turning final. And now I announced it. And now I'm going to announce that I'm in the downwind base final. Arlington traffic, experimental 143, Sarah Foxtrot, downwind for 34, Arlington. I can drop my flaps. You can see them go down. But when they go down, they have a tendency to Make the nose dip. So I have to trim the airplane up. Arlington traffic three Sarah Foxtrot base for three four Arlington. Notice I abbreviated a bit because I made a full radio call twice. Arlington traffic uh, Sonic one two five Yankee X ray will uh, back to you. Runway 11, high speed taxi home. Harlington traffic 3 Sarah Foxtrot turning final 3 4 Harlington full stop. I like doing a full stop. You can do a touch and go. Full stop means we're actually going to get off the runway. As we come down, you'll see one red, one white. That'll mean we're right on glide path. And if there's two reds, it means you're low. Okay. Let's get over towards the center line. Harvey Travis, Arlington Travis, Skyhawk 401, Sierra Foxtrot. Turning downwind, 3-4, Arlington.
Yeah, that was a nice soft one. But you see, the wind is coming a little crosswind from our left. You can see the flag over. It's not coming right down the runway. And now I'm going to run it up to 4,000 again. Oh, I got 491 Sierra Foxtrot on the go. 3 4. Close left traffic, Arlington. So we're good. Arlington traffic experimental 143 Sierra Foxtrot taking off on 3 4 Arlington. Departure to the south. Arlington traffic. Uh, supersonic turning left crosswind. Got the Cessna in sight. Uh, we'll switch to the uh, left downwind for uh, 2 9 -er, uh, full stop, Arlington. Arlington traffic, supersonic turning uh, left downwind, 3-4 uh, behind the Cessna, and uh, we'll keep the Cessna in sight, uh, and we'll switch on the final for runway 3 4 two, nine, Arlington. Arlington traffic, Skyhawk 491, Sierra Fox, Trot, turning base, 3-4, Arlington. Sure. <laughs> you have the aircraft. Okay, nose came up a little bit. We can be at about 18, 1900, just because the clouds are coming down and training a bit. Switch fuel tank. Already did. Thank you very much. <laughs> Traffic, uh, Supersonic says uh, clear of runway 29, Arlington. There you go. Now you're at 2,000. Just down keep down it right there. Yeah. That's perfect. Go down a little bit to the right. Harvey field pattern is about 1,000 feet. So I'm going to set this up. We're going to very slowly come down to about 1,000. Real slow. We don't hardly need to point the nose down. Come down now at 200 foot per minute. There's the airport over there where the white buildings are. Oh, oh, yeah. we, we need to come over here because we're going to enter on the 45. There you go. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to take the aircraft. I have the aircraft. Harvey, you say 77 Bravo Delta final 33 Y. Hey, we're at our thousand feet. Now we get down to 90. Harvey traffic, experimental 143, Sarah Foxtrot on the 45 for 33, Harvey. A little bit of flaps. Harvey traffic, 3 Sierra Foxtrot, turning base for 3-3, three, three, Harvey. Harvey traffic, 3 Sierra Foxtrot, turning final, 3-3 three, three, right, Harvey. To to the blue, to 